Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Guillem Gargallo. I'm a product marketing manager at On Semiconductor, responsible for the industrial portfolio within our Power Solutions Group. During this session, I will give you an overview of some of the key products that On Semiconductor offers for fast EV charging, and I'll present part of our design in ecosystem to support our customers. I guess that you will all have seen plenty of slides these days on the market outlook for fast EV charges. For instance, it's a fast growth market. It's very dynamic in terms of technical and commercial requirements, like the increase in efficiency standards, proliferation of modular solutions, and so on. So I will skip that part and move directly to what On Semiconductor has to offer for this market. First of all, and before I talk about products, we have observed that selling uh, standalone products is often not enough for our customers. That is why we have built a full ecosystem to support our customers in the different stages of the design. From one side, we provide a system solution expertise. With several years experience in this market, we have now built a dedicated team of experts to support the specific needs of this segment. Another important factor is to provide customers with the necessary tools to accelerate and facilitate also their design. This includes both uh, simulation tools as well as evaluation boards or reference designs that I will show at the end. Of course, we are still a semiconductor manufacturer and our core competence is the development of new products. For the EV charging markets, one of our main focus is to take the leads in terms of power devices mainly silicon carbide, and then complement this with a full solution offering and a comprehensive overall portfolio. Once the design is ready, it is also important to provide a supply chain security, especially in these days. So we have a vertical integration of the supply chain from in-house crystal growth to back-end assembly, giving us more control on the supply chain and providing more reliability to our customers in all steps. If we now look at the simplified schematics of a fast TV charger, you can see that On Semiconductor has something to offer in all the key stages, except maybe for the control where we work in close partnership uh, with some other suppliers. This includes not only the main power stage that uh, we will discuss today, but also, for instance, other areas such as um, ground fault circuit interrupters where we are a market leaders. There's also the isolation, sensing, and also very important in this case is wired and wireless connectivity. Let's now take a closer look to the power stage by introducing some of the typical topologies currently used in fast DC EV chargers. There's a full article here written by my colleagues uh, Didier Baloco and Oriol Fillo. If you want to get in details, I really recommend you to check this article, which is called The Mystifying Three-Phase PFC Topologies. The first thing to mention here is that this is still a very dynamic market. It reminds me a lot to the solar business some years ago. The topologies are still changing rapidly and although there are first signs of commoditization, we still see many customers going their own way and trying still new things. But if we look, for instance, the typical PFC topologies, one of the most common is still the Vienna rectifier. This is a simple and low cost solution so it's still very present in, this, in the market for those lower end solutions. However, as we want to improve efficiency, this option gets usually discarded, mainly because it's unavoidable to have uh, high conduction losses. And also this topology is purely unidirectional. So now that part of the market move, moves to bidirectional topologies, this one gets also automatically discarded. In order to improve efficiency, we see here two options that are often used, which would be the, the T-NPC or the IMPC. So here, NPC boost or TMPC boost. And there are many different ways to call them depending on literature. In any case, looking at the schematics, it's clear which one is which. The NPC could be a good solution, for instance, if we want to avoid silicon carbide, as here we can use um, 650 volt IGBTs and fast diodes and still get a very good efficiency. If we want to boost efficiency even more, 
than a TNPC with uh, silicon carbide diodes and perhaps also silicon carbide MOSFETs in the neutral path would be probably the best choice. These two topologies as represented here are unidirectional, but they can be converted to bidirectional if active switches are placed in next to the outer diodes. In any case, if we talk about bidirectionality, then the simplest topology would be the six switch with the silicon carbide MOSFET. That's a well-known topology and with the current price levels of silicon carbide, it might already be the most cost-efficient solution, especially if we look at total system cost. For the DC-DC part, uh, probably the most used topology is still the standard uh, two-level LLC converter, here represented as uh, bidirectional, but more often probably still used as a unidirectional topology. Um, here, silicon carbide is strongly recommended, mainly when we talk about 800 volt uh, battery systems. If you want to avoid uh, 1200 volt silicon carbides and, for instance, use uh, super junction MOSFETs or even IGBTs, then we could have an interleaf LLC converter, like shown here in the middle, uh, where we can enable high output voltages even if we use 650 volt components. Lastly, also as uh, shown here, a three level topologies are also possible for the DC DC part. Um, two advantages in this case is, for instance, the three-level operation leads to smaller passive. And in this case, if we use uh, IMPC or MPC as shown here, we can also stay with 650 volt components. Um, in the way shown here, uh, it's also unidirectional, but we could convert this to bidirectional also by mirroring the topology on the secondary side as well. Nevertheless, these are just some of the many possibilities. And as mentioned before, there is still no standard way to go. So almost every customer goes for a different way. So at On Semiconductor, we are open to help customers to evaluate the pros and cons of each solution, both from technical and commercial point of view. And we are also open to offer a customized uh, solutions, either in discrete or in power modules so you just reach out to your local contact person whenever you consider starting a new design and we will support you to find the right solution for your device. So moving on here, I have mentioned uh, silicon carbide a few times and certainly this technology plays a center role in EV charging. So especially if we talk about fast DC. So what is on semiconductor approach to silicon carbide? So, our target is, of course, to become a market leader and a referent in this segment. The way we are addressing this challenge is by a full vertical integration of the whole process, from crystal growth uh, to a system designing support. In this way, we can put the customer needs always first, already from the beginning of the chip design, also already from the beginning of the manufacturing, and all this down to the assembly, either in discrete or modules. So starting with the deep understanding of the application and the continuous collaboration with the customers, we can bring the lessons learned and also the pains of the customers already at the beginning of the silicon carbide development. We have today a capabilities to produce in six inches and we were actually one of, or the first ones to have exclusive six inch manufacturing. Now we are preparing the transition to eight inch while we continue of course to improve our chip design. In terms of packaging, we have one of the widest uh, coverage in the industry with plenty of standard discrete and also now more and more uh, modules, both for automotive and industrial applications. Just to give you a sense of our product offering, here is the example of our uh, silicon carbide MOSFETs. With our newly released 650 volts, now we have a deep coverage of the main uh, voltage nodes for EV charging in industry standard packages, as well as in bare dye. So this means 650, 900, and 1200 volt. Also in the coming quarters, we will continue to release more parts to complement this existing portfolio, including our first uh, 1700 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs. We complement the MOSFET offering by an even wider diode offering in 650, 1200, and 1700 volts. For EV charging, the most relevant are probably the 1200 volt silicon carbide diodes. 
And what you can see here um, is our first generation. However, now we are working to release um, our second generation as well. So stay tuned as we will continue releasing um, our newer second generation in the coming quarters as well. As uh, EV chargers evolve to higher power ratings, um, the benefits of a power module become even more evident and therefore also its demand. So at On Semiconductor, we have a long story or a long history in power modules for motion control mainly and also in the later years for solar market. Now we want to bring that know-how as well to the EV charger market with, for instance, the release of our first half bridge, a 6 million 1200 volt module in F2 package. And this module features our latest uh, silicon carbide MOSFETs, which are designed to withstand the harshest conditions. Like, for instance, with, the, with our patented termination, we prevent the humidity from damaging the dye. So also a typical difficulty of silicon carbide is to dissipate all the losses due to its extremely small area. So this is improved in our modules also thanks to the optimized die size that we use and also, for instance, the possibility of having a pre-applied uh, thermal interface material. Of course, and as mentioned already a couple of times, we have full control of all the value chain. Also in this case, this includes the, the substrate, for instance, as well as the full assembly of the part. And here we have um, some of off-the-shelf uh, devices or products, and we are also open to discuss, to discuss tailored solutions beyond this standard offering. So do not hesitate to contact us if you don't find what you need in our portfolio. Um, here you have um, a table with a summary of the newly released parts, which includes the 10 milliohm and also a 6 milliohm uh, half bridge. And in the coming quarters, we will continue releasing more and more products specifically for the EV charging market like, for instance, a 900 uh, volt Vienna rectifier for the PFC stage, as well as a full uh, diode module for the secondary side of uh, the LLC converter. So as we will release more and more parts, I recommend you to reach out to your local contact for the latest updates. So let's change a little bit uh, the gears now. So even if we put here, the main focus on silicon carbide, there is still room for non-silicon carbide alternatives, especially in the smaller power range where cost is the most important factor. Now, I'll just show you now a quick reminder that On Semiconductor also offers a huge portfolio in IGBTs and superjunction MOSFETs for these cases. For instance, if we look here at some of uh, the latest IGBTs for energy infrastructure applications, there is a full coverage of 650, 950 and 1200 volts up to 75 amps, mainly in a TO247 3-lit package. Although now we are also releasing more and more parts in 4-lit, uh, also for better switching performance. In terms of uh, super junction MOSFETs, we have really an incredible wide range of products in three different flavors. There is the fast version for the highest efficiency. There is the FR FET or fast recovery FET uh, version with the best body diode for those applications where the diode is uh, really playing a role. And then also we have the easy drive optimized already to improve the EMI behavior and facilitate the whole circuit design. So here is just an example of the wide power range available for superjunction MOSFETs. And this all comes with industry standard packages like the TO247, Power 8x8, or a TO leadless, and more. So here we really cover from uh, small power to high power in all sorts of industry standard packages. So besides the switches, the most important component for the power segment are the gate drivers. And at On Semiconductor, we also offer a wide portfolio of gate drivers with many different optional safety features, and all these in industry standard packages. This gives customers the flexibility to choose the most suitable device 
for their own needs, from non-isolated drivers without many protection features to very advanced drivers able to provide high currents to silicon carbide power modules, and all this with the necessary safety features to guarantee the proper functioning of such a costly device. I strongly recommend you also to check uh, our web or contact your local representative to find the right match for your needs. As I mentioned before uh, at the beginning, having the right products nowadays is not really enough to support customers. This is why we go beyond the product offering and have a full set of extra tools to facilitate the designing activities and help our customers in all stages of the design. In the first place, we have already a big range of evaluation boards ready to be used and featuring our key devices. In this way, the customer can easily and quickly evaluate our products and get ideas for their own design as we share all the documentation. There are already a few boards for uh, EV charging on board, for instance, a 3.3 kilowatt up to 11 kilowatt. And we are now working on uh, different topologies like our PFC board in totem pole configuration. And new boards are also coming up. And since today we talk about fast uh, DC charging, we are currently developing a 25 kilowatt board with all the power stages for a standard a standard TV. In this case, we wanted to use our 10 million silicon carbide modules and have a bidirectional device. So the selected topologies are a six switch for the PFC and an LLC for the DC-DC stage, also bidirectional in this case. The board will also incorporate all the isolation and driving stages and can be combined with uh, one of our existing auxiliary power supplies as well. In this case, we are doing something more than just providing the board. We want to share all the steps that our designers are going through to develop the board. That is why we started releasing a series of blogs where we have a monthly updates on the design and where we share the main considerations and challenges that our design team is facing. So from topology or component selection to modulation schemes, uh, driving systems, or even thermal management methods. So stay tuned and check regularly our blog. Besides the reference boards, we also have plenty of application notes, like the one explaining the PFC topologies, and we just released also another one explaining the characteristics of our 1200 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs in detail, also giving some hints on how to drive them. We also complement this with other tools like a spy simulation model, a driver design guidelines, thermal management simulations, and many more. So once again, when you start a new design, reach out to us already in the first stages, and we will be more than glad to share our know-how and support you all through the process until you release your product. So thank you everyone for listening and for more information, please visit our website at onsemi.com